it's Danica back with another process video. I'm coming from the Take 10 blog today and I have a new page for you. I'm a little out of order. I'm showing you right now. Some of these cards are from the Take 10 kits. Um, some of them are from the Pink Fresh Happy Things and some were just from some from my stash. I think I actually got the triangle card and the pink polka dot card in one of my paper issues um, swag bags. I think that was from the July swag bag. So here I'm just kind of showing you I have all my take 10 embellishments from the glam bag and the pocket kit and then I just have a couple of extra things that I added from my stash. Um, some doilies, some gold sequins. Uh, I got these. Uh, these are the pink fresh happy things wooden embellishments and then I had some Bella Boulevard uh, stickers that I thought would look nice with the kits. So, so here I'm just going to get started putting my uh, my two three by fours together um, that I put in the four by six pockets. So I'm just going to start with my corner rounding and getting those glued together so I can start embellishing. Um, and then with this. Uh, card here I kind of I'm trying to show you I cut uh, with my craft knife that um, the word wonderful there and so it would kind of overlap my photo a little bit I didn't want to cover it up so I'm just going to add these balloons came with the uh, with the kits this month so and the little hello was part of the cut aparts I'm going to stamp the date and I realized at the end that I forgot to write the word two in between my dates so I'll have to go back and do that. Um, this detour was part of the kits and I kind of was like at a loss for how I was going to use these kind of road sign themed embellishments but I think it actually fit perfectly for this because our basement flooded again this time it was a sewer backup completely separate from our previous issues um, so it was kind of a detour from where we want to be luckily the basement's not finished yet it was something we discovered um, you know before everything was all done um, but it's getting there hopefully I'll have a a uh, craft room tour video here hopefully in a couple of weeks uh, to show you guys what we've done and how far we've come so just kind of uh, embellishing adding some word stickers to some of these um, and some journaling down here you know you know me hopefully by now I kind of skip around a lot I move from card to card I get ideas and I have to implement them immediately or I'll forget what I was thinking I was going to do on a page so what I'm going to do now here, these are the uh, the school planner stamps that you can get um, or that you could get on the Take 10 shop. I don't think there's any more of these left in the shop, um, but they're all school themed. And while I don't use a planner per se in the way that a lot of people do by decorating, um, these stamps can be used for anything. So what I'm doing is just stamping them on white cardstock and cutting them out to be kind of like little label stickers on my pictures. So I have one there that says, um, I think I, I put the word school and supplies together to make school supplies. And then I had open house and I decided that the white and black, I just didn't, I didn't like the way it looked. So I wanted to add some color to it. So I just got out my watercolors and added those to added a little bit of pink and kind of dabbed it off uh, to those phrases. So those watercolors, I love them. I picked those up at Michael's. I think they were $5 and then I had a 40% off coupon because it was the only thing I was buying that day. So super cheap, but they work great. So now I'm just going to add some thickers. These are, uh, I think some Dear Lizzie foam thickers that I'm adding to this upper card. Uh, just to kind of express my uh, feeling of woe and I'm going to stamp um, this epic fail stamp if I can remember where I got that stamp set I will link that down in the description box so I'm going to add some journaling this was such a big deal to me because my husband was in Florida on business when I discovered this water in the basement it was kind of a busy day it was we had been out running a bunch of errands I came down to throw some laundry in before we headed out to open house and this is what I found on the floor of course you find something like this right as you're trying to get out the door again but 
it all worked out okay. We went to open house. I was a little bit frazzled. Her teacher probably thought I was crazy. Uh, but then we did some school supply shopping and I picked up a little something for myself. It was kind of a beautiful day and I just sat on the back porch and I had a little drink and I just relaxed and enjoyed the beautiful weather and kind of calmed myself down after the crazy day that we had. So just adding um, some more journaling and I kind of kept that pink card simple with just the doily and the label sticker. I added the the sticky wooden piece um, that said awesome to the top of that. Um, just a picture of what I picked up for myself along with all the school supplies that night. Um, and then the last card was going out for ice cream. So this is all just our Monday. I don't know how many pages this week is going to be. I, I've kind of had a few weeks where I only needed two pages and that was it. But considering that all five of these pictures were all just from Monday, we'll see how many uh, videos this ends up being. So, and actually I'm in the process of recording my week 32. I didn't quite finish that one. Uh, but I wanted to get week 33 started with my Take 10 kits since I had to put those up on the blog for Monday or for today. So um, I'll be a little bit out of order. Hopefully I will have my video for week 32 tomorrow on Tuesday. And I have some exciting uh, news on Tuesday um, as well as as of this recording, I was at 99 subscribers. I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers, so I'll have some details on that, hopefully with my Tuesday video. Um, so you guys get two days in a row of videos. So that's about it. I decided to switch those two cards around because I felt like there was a lot of pink and aqua right on that whole right-hand side, so that just kind of spread it out. So little close-up here of all of the cards. I added some watercolors to that one. It just felt too black and white to me, even with the turquoise doily on it. And that is about it. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.